Part three it took six and a half hours to put on makeup every day. Six and a half hours. So I'd go, I'd go in at six o'clock in the morning, sit in a chair, and according to SAG rules, you have to eat within six hours of the time you start. So by the time they finished the makeup, I couldn't move my mouth, so I couldn't eat. <laughs> they stuck a straw in there? They stuck a straw in there and gave me tiger's milk. <laughs> And then, um, and then, then I'd wear that makeup for about another six to eight hours, and then it took about a, an hour or two, an hour and a half to get it off every night. And it was usually after they wrapped, so the the makeup guys wanted to leave in a hurry, so that it came off pretty fast. Off. But you, you can't you, take it off. That's no, right. I mean they open it up and they put this orange stuff on it to try to take the glue off, and they glue it a bit more, and they put more of it on, and you're sitting there, and it's, you know, clocks ticking by. And I'd go home at night, and my face would just be red, red raw. From getting it taken off, just cover my face with glue. They have glue all yeah. over it. Yeah. And they, they was uh, eleven different appliances that were stuck onto my face. Yeah. And then, um, so I just cover my face in, in cream. I uh, get home at you know twelve, two o'clock in the morning, and then have to be back on set six o'clock the next morning. Start it all over again. Is the visibility clear with the mask on? I only had one eye. The other eye was down here. And so you're trying to do a stunt and you have no peripheral vision. It's, I'm sure they yeah. tried it, it's not easy. Part 7 I only had one eye, but yeah. the rest of them I could see a beast out of both. Yeah. I have a question for CJ. Um, is it true that you run a casino in Las Vegas? Are you a manager of a casino? Well, kind of. I'm not in Vegas anymore. I was, I was in Las Vegas, but I'm actually running a casino up in Northern California. Okay. And are there any guests that come to your casino and ask if they could uh, meet Mr. Vori? A lot, actually. So yes, I'm a general manager of a yeah. casino up in Northern California. So I have about 2,500 employees and about a $1 billion resort. Um, and they do, they do come up and the radio stations will call in and the TV will do things for, you know, there will be a Friday the 13th or it'll be Halloween. So we do functions like that, yeah. So when he says he runs the casino, he runs it. He's not one of the lower guys. Uh, he's the casinos, boss. everything, the hotel, the casino, the resort. I have the whole resort. So it's fun. General manager, right? GM, yeah. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad, huh? From a slicer? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say. Not bad, huh? Now they do some articles though. Occasionally stuff will come out like in the San Francisco um, magazines and it'll talk about, you know, general manager of Thunder Valley, claim to fame, Jason Friday the thirteenth, and now runs a resort. I so, wouldn't go to that resort. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. I've been doing that for a long time. I also worked for uh, George Maloof at the Palms. I worked for Steve yeah. Wynn. And I also opened a Hard Rock Hotel and Casino for Peter Morton. So yeah. I've done a lot of casino work. So when you go to the casino, you say you're a personal friend of his. It'll get you, it'll, it'll get you, it'll get you at least a machete. <laughs> <laughs> it'll get you everything for the regular price. <laughs> right. Head cross for free. Head. Free. So. Question to Tom, please. Um, I would like to ask you, um, which dance did you make in Jaws 4? Or Jaws the Revenge? Oh. Uh, I was Dublin Best, uh, James Best. We did uh, on board the ship when, the, when it was being attacked and breaking up and falling. Uh, that was the main scenes I was in. So, you know, it was coming apart with falling in the water, etc., stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, then.